Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. My people, the Northern Elders Forum has issued a strong condemnation of the recent decision by the President Bola Tinubu led federal government to increase electricity tariffs in Nigeria. In a statement released by the NEF spokesperson, Adulazi Suleiman, the, the forum described the tariff hike as a reckless move that demonstrates a complete disregard for the well-being and welfare of the Nigerian people. The, the Northern uh, Elders Forum emphasized that the drastic increase in electricity tariffs would have a significant negative impact on the already struggling population as it debating the gap between the rich and the poor. The forum called on the federal government to immediately re reconsider what they deemed as an ill conceived decision and to take into account the dire economic situation faced by the majority of Nigerians. The statement from the Nigerian from the Northern uh, Edad Forum comes just two days after the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, announced an increment in electricity tariff for Band A customers who receive 20 hours daily electricity supply. The, the Northern Edad Forum criticized the breakdown of the new tariff, pointing out exorbitant cost that would burden average Nigerians. Under the new tariff plan, 24 hours of electricity per day would cost a staggering 5,400, amounting to an unbearable monthly total of uh, about um, 162,000 uh, naira, and uh, a yearly total you will have 1,971,000. The 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 Northern Edda strongly condemned the decision to implement such exorbitant electricity tariff without considering the impact on the average citizens. The forum urged that this move would perpetuate economic oppression and widen the gap between the rich and the poor in Nigeria. They warned that such exploitation could lead to internal security threats as the disparity between the different social economic classes become more pronounced. The, the, the Northern Elders criticized the government for its lack of empathy towards its citizens, accusing it of prioritizing personal gain over the well-being of the people. They called on Nigerians to demand accountability from their leaders and reject policies that further exacerbate economic hardship. The forum statement underscores growing discontent among Nigerians over the rising cost of living and the government perceived indifference to their plight. Many Nigerians have been grappling with economic challenges, including high unemployment rates, inflation, and limited access to basic amenities such as electricity. The decision to increase electricity tariff has sparked wide spread outreach and protests across the country. The civil society groups, the labor unions and opposition parties have condemned the move, describing it as anti-people and, and insensitive to the plight of ordinary Nigerians. Critics urge that the, the timing of the tariff hike is particularly uh, egregious, coming at a time when many Nigerians are already struggling to make ends meet. Due to the economic impact of COVID-19 pandemic, they urge that the government should be implementing policies to alleviate the suffering of the people rather than imposing additional burdens on them. In response to the growing blacklist, the federal government has defended its decision to increase the electricity tariff, urging that it is necessary to attract investment in the power sector and improve service delivery. Government officials have also pointed to the need to address the financial challenges facing power distribution companies, which have struggled to recover their costs 
due to low tariffs and high operational expenses. However, crisis remained uncon unconvinced by the government's uh, rationale, arguing that the tariff hike will only worsen the plight of ordinary Nigerians and deepen poverty levels in the country. They have called for a comprehensive review of the government's energy policies to ensure that they are in line with the interests of the Nigerian people. As the, the debate over electricity tariff continues to range, many Nigerians are demanding immediate action from the government to alleviate their economic hardships and improve their quality of life. The Northern Elders Forum's condemnation of the tariff hikes reflects the broader sentiment of frustration and anger felt by many Nigerians who feel marginalized and neglected by their leaders. With what President Bola Metinobu is pushing right now, <laughs> I don't know how he is going to do this, you know. In, in 2027, I'm telling you the truth, majority of Nigerians are already sad about his policies. You understand? Nigerians are saying his policies is a anti, anti-people's policies. You understand? All his policies is they are not in favor of the Nigerian masses, the, the poor Nigerians, the ordinary Nigerians. So you see, this is really very, very a difficult time for Nigerians. And it's sad that the government do not even know what the people are going through. They are really far from the people. With what is going on, that is what we understand. The government is far from the people. If they are close, you know, with the people, they will understand what Nigerians are going through. We are talking about the increment in petrol. That one is there. They have removed subsidy in gas and all that. Now, taxes are everywhere. I, Nigerians are paid a very high uh, uh, tax in Nigeria. Tell me how people will survive in this country. And now, electricity, where they know they bring them. Because at the end of the day, this light will still going to be coming like three times in a week. And trust me, Nigerian government will make you to pay it. The intimidation is just too much. The intimidation is too much. They will not even give you a prepaid meter because they know that they're not going to feel the rule with that. So they've left that their analog uh, whatever meter. They don't even come to read their meter. What kind of problem is this? Like what I always tell people, now other nations in the world, they, they remove one thing, they must subsidize one thing or two for their citizens. The small, small things when we say Nigerians again, President Bola Metinubu administrations, hey, the administration, they don't cut everything. Life is now very, very unbearable, you know, to Nigerians. Then they talk, say they want to make Nigerians better. So now, so they want to take make Nigerians better when people are already crying. Well, I'm dropping it here, guys. What do you think about what the Northern Elders have told President Bola Metinubu government? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. I beg, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening in the Nigeria.